10.1.4 Alternative Methods of Extracting Metals This is a higher tier only topic and it builds what you know already about, about metals where some metals are so unreactive that they can be extracted in the ground uh, as metals they're not found as ores some are extracted by carbon if carbon is more reactive then they're extracted by carbon reduction or for more reactive elements they can be extracted from high grade ores using electrolysis for instance aluminium is a common example there but this time the, we need to know the earth's resources of metal ores are limited especially copper so copper is used in so many different ways, in terms of piping, in terms of coins, lots of other electrical uh, wires use copper because of its high conductivity. But low grade core ores are now being used to be extracted by phyto mining and bio leaching. These are awesome new techniques and phyto mining and bio leaching avoids the traditional mining techniques. It says in the specification here, I'll read it out to you, methods uh, traditional methods include digging, moving and disposing of large amounts of rock. So with fire mining and bio leaching, you don't need to dig, you don't need to move, you don't need to dispose the large amount of rocks. And if it's a low grade ore, there's going to be more waste rock than there is actually um, ore that you can use. So how does it work? Imagine this, fire mining uses plants to absorb the metal compounds. So you plant a plant and the plant absorbs the metal compounds from the low grade ore, uh, low grade soil. Um, so there's not a lot of it there, but the plants absorb it. Once they've done that, they're harvested, they're burned, and we can use that as a, a source of energy. And after that, the ash contains the metal compounds. So we can uh, react that with an acid and produce a solution, and the metal can be extracted from the metal compound. How cool is that? Plants can be used in low grade ores to extract the metal compounds. Even better, is it even better or just different? I don't know, you decide. But bacteria are used to produce solutions. So bacteria can absorb the metals from the metal compounds and they're called leachate solutions. So a leachate solution contains the metal compound and the process, you don't have to be hands on for it, it's bacteria. So you have the right bacteria for the right metals and they'll absorb it from the soil to form these leachate solutions. So the metals can be extracted from the metal compounds by displacement. If you've got a solution that's got copper ions in it, if you add iron, even you can use scrap iron because there's lots of that around, scrap iron, then pure copper will form on that scrap iron by displacement reaction because iron is more reactive than copper. You could also um, put it in a solution and pass electricity through it and the copper ions would go to the negative electrode and form there and that's called electrolysis. So can the metal Compound metals can be extracted from metal compounds in solution by displacement, by scrap iron or another metal, or by electrolysis. That's why it's higher tier, just because it's a little bit more complicated and a little bit more wordy. But you've got to make sure you know about phyto mining, bio leaching, why we use those techniques to extract from low grade ores, and how they how the actual metal is extracted at the end of that process.